Hi there. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, I'm Ian Morrish and I'm founder of uh, Together for Cinema, which is an AV industry good cause enterprise uh, that installs cinema rooms into children's hospices and other deserving venues. We've been going since 2009, uh, predominantly in my spare time, but in 2021 I went full time uh, with Together for Cinema with the full backing or great deal of backing from the industry. So that just gives you an overview. Um, I wanted to give you all a video update now of where, you know, what we've achieved this year. Um, basically, uh, we have secured funding for another year of operation from the industry, which is great. Um, Chris Pinder has done some fundraising as well, so this is on the finances. Raised almost £47,000 for us, which is great, and that will be held in an account until we become a registered charity um, next year. So that's super. Financially, we you know we have the 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 the, the wherewithal to continue um, and continue to deliver to the community. So what have we done so far? So this year, we've we've installed three uh, cinema rooms. Uh, one at a place called Jigsaw Children's Hospice in Carlisle, another at Rainbow's Children's Hospice in Loughborough, and uh, one at Julia's House, uh, just been completed in Pool in Dorset. And there are more happening, and I'll tell you about those in a second. Um, we've had three openings, one at Jigsaw, one at Rainbow, where very kindly the, the BBC joined us, and you may have seen the BBC clip. Uh, and we also had an opening that was uh, carried forward from last year at a place called Linden Cottage, which is part of Fitzroy Care uh, in Sussex. So that was great. All good, all good things happening. Um, we've also attended various events, and there's been a lot of um, exposure and awareness uh, of, uh, of Together the Cinema, so we're at ISC, uh, the CDA Summits, and... Uh, also the Envision House Party recently, so we're very grateful to, to be given the rights to attend those events as well. Um, Together for Cinema, in, in partnership with Together for Short Lives uh, and Cisco, have also um, rolled out a pilot scheme where Cisco are, uh, are visiting uh, the children's hospices, or at the moment there's a pilot scheme of five visits, where the Cisco staff go into the hospice uh, they assess all of their networking, their internet, their any any streaming, etc., etc., and also help them with WebEx, uh, the the Cisco WebEx video conferencing. Um, it's early days, but Cisco are committed to visit every uh, children's hospice if they want to, uh, if they want it, and it sort of potentially this could even be a sort of seven-figure rollout, and, and that was as a direct result of Together for Cinema and Together for Short Lives working with Cisco. So that's a great collaboration, and I'll, there'll be lots more coming up in the future on that. Um, by the end of this year, we will be at 37 cinema rooms and completed, and the normal installation value of those would be in the region of 850,000. So we've really made some giant strides forward in, in delivering to our community. What's gonna happen the next six months, uh, from July to December? Well, we've got four more installations going in, uh, one in Dorset, another one in Dorset, one in Grimsby, one in Stoke, uh, and one in Newcastle, all at various children's hospices and, and one at a children's foundation. Um, there will be five more openings. There'll be those four and the Julia's House in Poole, uh, which has just been completed, so more on that uh, as the year goes through. We're building a schedule for next year as well, and we're talking to children's hospices in, in areas like uh, Conway in, in Wales, Ballock in Scotland, Gravesend, Guildford, a couple in London, Stockton uh, on Tees and, and Liverpool. So really working hard now to get ahead of the game for next year. And that takes a lot of time, visits to all the venues and so on, trying to find in the right installer, looking at products and so on. Um, <coughs> so by the end of next year, um, sorry, the end of 2022, as I say, um, we will be in good shape financially. And I think by the end of um, 23, we will have hit a very good milestone. I'll tell you more of that in a second. Um, to keep us going, we need sponsorship and so on, and that the renewals will go out in November um, in the normal fashion. And we hope all our partners and, and sponsors will continue to back us and back the good work that we're doing. We're continuing to deliver, which is the main thing. So what happens next year? Um, we'll complete another seven installations next year, and the ones I've just outlined to you, um, hopefully they will all come through, but I think six or seven will complete it. We will hopefully become a registered charity, that's all in plan, lots of discussions, um, but it's got to be done the right way. 
Um, we'll further look into uh, trying to recycle product from the industry into good causes. So we're not going to take sales away because these, these good causes don't have the budget to, to, to buy fabulous AV equipment that we all almost take for granted because um, it's our industry. So we'll donate it to good causes. They haven't got the budget to buy it. We're enhancing their operation. And you know, we're moving some stock that is probably not going to get really get used and it will be used for a very good reason and to enhance their operations. So I think that's a great thing. That will progress over, it's a slow burner because we've got to keep delivering these, these cinema rooms, but we're, we're absolutely on it. And some of the funding that we have been raised for us by Chris Pinder will go towards, I think, developing that. But we'll talk to the trustees when we become a, a charity and we get hold of that money, because that money was not going to be released to Together for Cinema until we are a registered charity, therefore it's protected. Um, Another great thing, at the end of next year, as I say, I, I think by the end of next year, 2023, we will hit the million pound mark on installations. So we're about 850,000 by the end of this year. I suspect by the end of 23, we will hit the million pound mark. And that's a real great achievement by, by Together for Cinema and all those involved and our industry. So you know, well done guys, everyone is fabulous. Um, and I think we're gonna plan a bit of a do as well so in tw hopefully 2024 there will be uh, a function uh, no awards don't worry um, but hopefully there'll just be a great getting together of the industry to celebrate what we've achieved and what we've given back so that'll be a super evening um, I think in, in closing I'll try and wrap this up now but there's various things that are great about together for cinema one one thing I think is it's just the pulling together of the industry there's no brand competition you know we're gonna, I'll mention Epson and Sony Epson don't mind if a Sony projector goes in Sony don't mind if an Epson projector goes in the most important thing is getting the job done so that we can walk away and leave a cinema room functional and being used by the children their parents the siblings the carers etc etc the difference we see when we go to these openings is incredible it really is it's very moving and then we leave them, but we know that there are thousands of children, genuinely thousands of children in the next 10 years that will enjoy that room. So we only see a small fraction of the effect these, these rooms have, but we know it's a huge effect. But, but again, the pulling together with the industry is a very special thing, and there's no brand competitiveness, there's no, um, nobody sort of donates anything for anything in return. It's all just a pure and unquestionable good. Um, we've installed 37 good cause cinema rooms. And, and again, the difference is huge that we make. Um, and I think one of the nice things is that there's, there's, there's thousands of children, and as I said before, we will just never know, and they will never know we've been involved. We'll never meet them, but we know the impact of these rooms that goes on for years. So, you know, I think, you know, when, when I started this, you know, I, I didn't realize how, how well it was gonna go. But I would say, always believe you can achieve. You know, when I, in 2009, when this first came to mind, it was like, oh, it'd, be, it'd be nice to do a room. You know, I think about it, I might be able to network a bit. I've been with ISE 13 years. I was with Celia before that for eight years. Um, and, you know, I know some people. We made a room happen. Go forward from 2009, 13 years. It's now my full time work, which is great. What a fab job I have. We have 48 sponsors. Um, in the industry, we have a load of partners, etc., 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 and load of product donations. So, you know, well done, industry, on making this happen. And I thank all of the sponsors, of so, which there are 48. They put a little bit of money in the pot to make this happen. All of our partners, the steering committee, who are vital to the progress of Together for Cinema, um, and the operational partners, the media partners, the people who donate product absolutely everybody involved and anybody who understands together with cinema and just and just backs us thank you all very very much for your support um and yeah long may it continue and that's that's my update finished for the moment um, there will be more video reports but uh, this is just a biennial update and uh, I, I wish you all well enjoy the summer sunshine and uh, and bye for now